Torx T10. <clears throat> Remove the seal if it's in place, otherwise screw comes out. Flathead screwdriver. <clears throat> Take off the hard drive cover. Uh, you can probably leave the hard drive in, but we'll just take it out while we're here, just to avoid any problems. Also, first of all, must remember to remove the screw first, otherwise it's going nowhere. Pull the hard drive out. Now you've done that, the bottom shell can come off nice and easily. So from the back, lift it up. push it away from you <clears throat> and you're in. To get the Blu-ray laser out of the, uh, the drive here is extremely tricky with this PS4 Slim model. Uh, I don't know why they made it like this, uh, but it is difficult. Uh, so I would always check uh, for mechanical issues on the other side of the drive first. So on this side, when you open up, Check for mechanical problems first, clean the laser, make sure there's no obstructions, um, do all that first. You don't actually have to take the power supply out to replace the Blu-ray underneath, but I'd have taken it out anyway. So first of all, check for uh, debris, uh, clean the laser, check for mechanical obstructions on that side. That's the easy jobs to do first. If you have to replace a laser, you've got to come onto this side, okay? You've got to take all these cables out here. Be careful with this cable here. You don't want to be pulling the other end of this cable out, which once we've got this black cover off, you'll see what I mean. Um, what we want to do now, I'm going to turn it around this way, just force a habit. Um, I'm going to take out these two screws here from the hard drive. I've already removed the hard drive. Then I'm going to go around and take out these remaining screws on here. Just going to remove this as well. Just remove this antenna out of the way so you can see what you're doing. I'm going to remove this one here as well. We don't have to remove that one. Okay, that's all the screws out of the top of here. You could also make things easier by undoing these two screws here. Uh, if that's, we might as well do that as well. But what's tricky about replacing the laser with this console is this black cover here, the drive cover, is tucked underneath the board and the chassis here. It's extremely difficult to get out. Um, but this is what I do, it's probably not best practice. What I do is I get a flathead screwdriver, make it a big one, nice and sturdy, and you want to get it in here, okay, along here. Be careful with this wire here. And you want to just gently, you want to take this, this off. It's tucked under here, it's tucked under this side here, so you've got to be careful. But if you can gently lever off this side first, should eventually be able to get it up by that. Okay, be careful because it's still attached. Be careful of this wire here. But now you've got this open, you can see the laser here. It's attached with this ribbon here, which is attached to this black piece here. So I'm just going to unhook the laser. It just comes straight out like that. It's not screwed in. There's your laser mechanism. If you need to replace the laser itself, I do recommend buying the complete deck 
from eBay or Amazon rather than just the laser itself. If you do replace just if you do buy just the laser itself, you have to take it off this pin here. You can see one of my other videos to do that. But it is much easier just to replace the complete laser deck. Um, so the laser deck, you get your replacements. First, we need to take this one off. So you unclip the laser here. You've now got that laser off there. When you buy a new laser, you'll probably just get it like this with the chass with the uh, with the deck. So you will need to take the old ribbon cable off, put the ribbon cable back into the top of there. Okay. So this is your new laser. You need to put this connector cable back into your, into your laser here. So this is a bit tricky if you've never done it before. Push the laser all the way to the end of here. Make sure the clip's up. Then what you want to do is you've got to get this blue connector, this side up facing us, into there. It's a bit tricky when I'm trying to do it in, on the camera, but uh, there, yeah, that's in. Then you need to, with your other finger, you need to flip that black connector down like so and then you can see that's in properly now fold it round this will sit on there like that make sure the cogs are in place here before you put anything in make sure there's no obstructions in here at all as well this is a turntable here it's got to sit on there so we're going to put it that way around watch this cable here okay the cable here is going to tuck under this little piece here so tuck it under there like that then this is the tricky bit. So we've got the laser in there. I'm going to push it down into its position there. That's that's now in place there. Okay, so far so good. But we've got to get this black cover properly in place. So what you've got to do is gently seat it back in. Make sure all the cables are out. That's looking okay at the moment. No, it's not. It's going to be tucked under there. Okay. So we've got to get this edge to clip into here. We've got to get this black edge to clip under the board and this has got to clip into under here as well. Very tricky. So I'm going to go quiet while I just get that done for, for you for a second. Sometimes best to make sure this end is clipped in first. So get it clipped under here first. Okay, once that's in there, you can work your way around and very often what I have to do is I have to bend the plastic case so that it goes under the hard drive cover here and it will help again with your screwdriver there it is there it is got it in okay now we've got it sitting in there you want to put all your screws back in Don't forget to screw down here. Okay, just going to thread this Bluetooth connector back over here. Just carefully clip that back on. Put that back on, sits on there like that, clips on there. Right, now what you want to do is get all these connectors back in now. So I'll start off with this one up here first. This one's going to go in next. This one that's got the black clip here, so pull the black clip up, push it back down. Then this one here, which thankfully we haven't pulled it out of the uh, the other end, otherwise you're in trouble. That clips 
back into there. Okay, so that's all the connectors back in. We've got all the screws, we, this is all in place. Um, so at this point, uh, I think we can pretty much put the cover back on here.